Area of Combined Rectangles How can you break apart a figure to find the area? Look at this rectangle that we drew on grid paper. It looks like an array, doesn't it? There are four rows of five. Do you remember how we break apart an array into two smaller arrays? We use the distributive property. We draw a vertical line to show how we can break apart this 4x5 array into two smaller arrays. We break apart 5 into 2 plus 3. We multiply each addend by 4. We add the products. We get 20. In fact, we found the area of a 4 by 5 rectangle, where 4 is the width and 5 is the length, using the distributive property. We broke apart this rectangle into two smaller rectangles. We found the area of each rectangle and summed them up. So the area is 20 square units. We can use the distributive property to find the area of combined rectangles. Let's look at a few examples. Draw a vertical line to break apart the model into two smaller rectangles. The first rectangle is a 2 by 2 rectangle. So we multiply 2 times 2 to get 4 square units. The second rectangle is a 5 by 3 rectangle. We multiply 5 times 3 to get the area, which is 15 square units. We add the areas of the two smaller rectangles to get the area of the figure. 4 plus 15 equals 19 square units. We can break up the same figure using a different method. Last time we used a vertical line to break apart the model. Now let's use a horizontal line. The first rectangle is a 2 by 5 rectangle. So we multiply 2 times 5 to get 10 square units. The second rectangle is a 3 by 3 rectangle. So we multiply 3 times 3 to get 9 square units. We find the area of the figure by adding the two areas of the smaller rectangles. 10 plus 9 equals 19 square units. Let's do another example. Draw a vertical line to break apart the model. The first rectangle is a 4 by 2 rectangle. So we multiply 4 times 2 to get 8 square units. The second rectangle is a 2 by 3 rectangle. So we multiply 2 times 3 to get 6 square units. To find the area of the figure, we add the areas of the two smaller rectangles. 8 plus 6 equals 14 square units. Let's do another example. As you can see, Drawing a horizontal line creates three smaller rectangles. We do the same thing as for two smaller rectangles. We find the areas of the smaller rectangles and we add them up to get the area of the figure. The first rectangle is a 2 by 7 rectangle. So we multiply 2 times 7 to get 14 square units. The second rectangle is a 3 by 2 rectangle. So we multiply 3 times 2 to get 6 square units. The last rectangle is a 2 by 3 rectangle, so we multiply 2 times 3 to get 6 square units. To find the area of the figure, we add the areas of the smaller rectangles. 14 plus 6 plus 6 equals 26 square units. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.